Okay, Sivaram. So uh, let's go for this map for IOCL and the probable date of interview is on 13th of September. Yes, sir. Okay. Snap for uh, soil mechanics. Yes, Sivaram. Uh, tell me briefly something about yourself. Uh, good evening, sir. My name is Sivaram Reddy. I am from Gunto district, Andhra Pradesh. I did my graduation in civil engineering from IIT Karakpur. Uh, during my college days, uh, besides academics, I was also a secretary for fine arts during my second year. I was also mm. part of dramatic society in our college. Uh, mm. After my graduation in 2019, uh, I, have, I have been preparing for uh, various competitive exams like uh, engineering services and gate. Uh, coming to my family, my father is a shopkeeper and my mother mm. not only helps with the home, but she also helps my dad with the shop. She is the most hardworking person I have ever seen. And coming to my hobbies, uh, I like playing chess and watching cricket. And uh, recently, I also started gaining interest in stock markets and trading. Thank you. Okay. All right. So, uh, what about placements? Did you not uh, go for any kind of placement or stuff? Uh, yes, sir. I tried for some companies in civil engineering during my mm -hmm. placements, but I didn't get selected. There were only few companies. Okay. Okay. Only few companies. All right. Okay. Uh, all right, sir. So, let's start your technical stuff. So, you are from uh, Gunto district. Yes. Okay. Sir. Uh, very simply, tell me what, what uh, soil is present in Gunto? Sir, uh, most of it is uh, black cotton soil. It okay. is coastal area uh, mm -hmm. and the rivers flow, uh, the river Krishna flows through this area. Most of it is uh, black cotton soil or either alluvial soil. Okay. So, what is the use of black cotton soil? Sir, uh, coming to agriculture part, it is uh, very useful for growing cotton. Mm -hmm. as it retains, uh, it has high water retaining capacity mm -hmm. and it is also useful for growing sugar cane, such type of crops. Okay. Like, uh, can you tell me which is the most uh, abundant mineral found in uh, this type of soil, black cotton soil? Black cotton soil, uh, I can say of uh, clay mineral Montmorillonite. Mm -hmm. That okay. is what I can think of. All right. Uh, like uh, you told me that your favorite subject is soil mechanics. Is there any difference between soil mechanics and geotechnical engineering or both are same? Uh, there is some difference sir. Uh, because in soil mechanics, we study about the properties of soil, how mm -hmm. they behave and uh, what is their strength. In geotechnical engineering, we use these properties uh, to design uh, as per our needs. Let's say we are constructing you want to construct a building or a structure, mm -hmm. we use these properties and design our structure accordingly so that it will be safe. Okay. Can you tell me what is uh, structural water? Sir, uh, structural water, uh, it is a water which, which uh, is present in the soil structure. Uh, uh, I mean, it, it is entrapped in the soil structure mm -hmm. and it sort of gives the property of the soil also. What kind of property? Uh, let's say if water is inside the soil structure, it, mm -hmm. it also it sort of affects the mineral structure of the soil, I think. That is what I think. Okay. Mineral. And then what is the gravity water? Sir, gravity water is uh, free water which, mm -hmm. which can flow uh, uh, due to gravity uh, between the pores of the soil. Okay. Tell me what you mean by index properties of soil? Sir, uh, index properties of soil uh, are generally the uh, liquid limit, plastic limit. No, no, these are the examples. Okay. I'm asking what okay. are index properties of soil? What do you mean by index properties? Why they are used? Okay. Uh, we use these index properties to classify uh, one soil from another and let's classify them according to their strength or other properties. Okay, good. Uh, what do you mean by bulking of sand? Sir, uh, in sand, uh, the bulking refers, uh, there is a dry sand, we add mm. some quantity of water, then mm. this, uh, uh, the sand Gets an expanded expansion volume. It's mm. called bulking right. of sand. 
Why? Uh, it is uh, due to capillarity effect. Capillarity. So, what happens to effective stress in the case of uh, capillarity? Does it increase or does it decrease? Sir, generally, uh, it decrease. It gets decreased. Okay. Can you draw the graph? For bulking of sand. Yes. Uh, you'll have to be visible. You are not visible. I cannot see. If not, you can send me on WhatsApp after that. Okay, after this session, you can send me on WhatsApp. Sir, with oh, increasing it? water content, the hmm? to certain water content, the volume will try to increase. And hmm. after further increase in water content, there is uh, either uh, there is a little decrease, and after that, there is no much effect in volume. Okay, whatever it is, you send me on WhatsApp. I'll see. Okay. 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 Uh, next question is: uh, What do you mean by quicksand condition? Okay, uh, sir, in uh, quicksand condition, uh, when there is a, a sudden upward movement of water in the, uh, hmm. let's say, a porous soil, upward movement of water during this, hmm. uh, the water tries to uh, affect sort of buoyancy on the so so solid particles. Mm -hmm. During this, the effective stress uh, gets reduced, and when it, when the effective stress becomes uh, very negligible, then this soil almost behaves like a fluid or liquid. Oh, so how it is different from liquefaction? Sir, uh, in both of these cases, the effective stress becomes zero. But, uh, uh, hmm. In liquefaction, it is uh, generally generated due to dynamic forces like earthquake. In this case, uh, due to these dynamic forces, uh, when when there is already pore water present in the soil and uh, when there is sudden dynamic force, in that uh, instant of time, as the soil, uh, as the water doesn't have time to escape the soil, at that instant, uh, all the, the water transfers all the pressure it took to the soil and uh, can you take an example? Can you take an example and then uh, illustrate the concept? Yes, uh, let's say it is a uh, clay soil which is saturated mm -hmm. beside mm -hmm. a river bank, and suddenly there is an earthquake. Uh, as it is, as it has less permeability, and the earthquake generally it, it is very small amount of time. It doesn't have sufficient time to escape the pore water. During mm -hmm. during this instant, the pore water uh, gains pressure and it tries to exert this pressure on the soil particles. And if in this case, if the effective stress is very negligible or very interest, it reduces drastically and the building might collapse. Okay. What happens to shear strength in quicksand condition and uh, this liquefaction? Sir, uh, shear strength uh, it becomes almost negligible. It won't be zero, but it will be very negligible. Why not zero? Why not zero? Because it uh, there is soil and there is also water. There will be some contact. Uh, there will be very if if it is zero, then it has to be ideal. But uh, that will not be the case. So it there will be some very very negligible. Level. In case of uh, completely dry sand, can the shear strength be equal to zero? Uh, if, if it is dry sand. Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, I don't think so. Unless there is uh, water, poor, poor mm -hmm. water, I don't think there is a possibility. Okay, good. Uh, last question. Uh, what do you understand by OCR, over consolidation ratio? Yes, sir. Uh, 
use this over consolidation ratio to to check the property like uh, mm -hmm. let's say we are uh, yeah. we have a soil sample we took a soil sample from a site and we want to see uh, whether that soil was previously subjected to any uh, higher pressure than the present uh, so mm -hmm. that uh, we could use this let's say we are we will be going to apply a high, much higher load than the previous load Mm -hmm. uh, we want to know whether the soil can sustain or if it has already taken such higher load, then we'll be sure that it won't take much consolidation in the future. So, okay. Yes. All right. Okay, Shiva. Uh, your part is, uh, I'll say above average. Okay, just relax. Your part is above average, but we need to do some more snaps. Okay. okay. There, there is a requirement of some more snaps regarding this subject itself. Because most of your answer are 70 to 80 percent correct. They are not completely wrong. They are not completely right. Okay. Like uh, for uh, quicksand condition and liquefaction, the answer that you give is 80 percent correct. Okay. It's not 100 percent correct, and it's not 100 percent wrong also. Okay. It's like uh, in the case of quicksand condition, because of upward seepage flow, our net effective stress uh, might become equal to zero. Okay. And if upward seepage condition, because of this upward seepage flow, if net effective stress becomes equal to zero, then there are chances that the shear strength might reduce to zero or it might become negligible. So the key word here was shear strength. Okay, okay. okay. If the shear strength becomes zero, then there are chances that the soil will not be able to bear the load. And then it, whatever the construction over has been done or the uh, building has been created, that will fall down. So the foundation is not stable because shear strength is zero. Okay, now that shear strength is equal to C plus sigma and 10 pi theoretically. Okay, now in case of dry sand, completely dry sand, the value of C will be equal to zero. And if this S equal to sigma and 10 pi, because C is zero, and if net effective stress is equal to zero, okay, then theoretically it gives us that the shear strength will be equal to zero. Okay, theoretically. There is no relation of four order pressure or something. Okay. Then in that case, the phi value has to be. So whatever the value of, of phi is there, if sigma n is equal to zero. Okay. Correct. If normal stress is zero, then overall shear strength will be equal to zero. Okay, okay you're getting me? Yes. So uh, you can just uh, you can have one more. Okay. And we'll increase the level of your uh, snap interview also. Let's increase uh, this level. Okay. Uh, like, can we do on Wednesday? Yes, sir. Wednesday? Day after tomorrow? Yes, sir. Same time? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Shiva. So you, if you have any kind of doubt, you can just call me. Sir, Correct. Uh, huh? sir, I have one doubt. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not that confident in structure part, structural subject. So it's fine. You don't subjects. say that your favorite subject is structure. I'm fine with some, but I'm a bit weak in structural analysis. That part. Let's see. We'll do a snap and let's figure out how weak you are. Okay. okay. If you're that weak, if you're very bad in structure, then just leave that part. You see that I'm not good at structure. Please ask me from somewhere else. 